This is a specially noticed meeting to consider only one matter. That is a resolution granting CARES Act money to Northwell Health to establish multiple COVID-19 testing sites throughout the town of Hempstead with two companion budgetary accounting resolutions. As set forth in the town's website, anyone wishing to comment on this matter only was advised to send such comments an email and those comments will be read into the record. Because of COVID-19 and the, the pandemic and consistent with the orders of the governor's emergency declaration, the town's emergency declaration, this meeting will be live streamed to so all members of the public who wish to listen and observe will be able to do so and I will, it will be recorded as well as it will be transcribed. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Supervisor Clavin. Aye. Councilman Blakeman. Aye. Councilman Carini. Aye. Councilman D'Esposito. I'm here. Councilman Dunn. Here. Senior Councilwoman Goosby. Here. Councilman Muscarella. Here. Councilman Dunn, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Roll rise. Face the American flag. Hold on. Place your right hand over your heart and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we all sit, if we can take a moment to uh, a silence for Congressman Lewis, uh, a, an icon, civil rights leader, person who spoke his mind, uh, but you know what? Spoke in a loud voice, uh, was a personal friend of Councilwoman Goosby, uh, and was a, a true icon in American history. Thank you all. May I have a motion to suspend the uh, designated procedures of the Hempstead Town Board in light of the continuing COVID-19 pandemic? So moved. Second. Madam Clerk, please call the roll on the motion. Supervisor Clayton. Aye. Councilman Blake. Aye. Councilman Carini. Aye. Councilman Aye. Councilman Dunn. Aye. Councilman Madam Clerk, please call the call uh, the calendar. Each, uh, can you combine them? Can we? we can do that I, why don't we combine them all? They are all related. The first resolution is authorizing the grant of funds to Northwell Health to be paid from monies received by the town through the CARES Act to establish multiple COVID-19 antibody testing sites throughout the town of Hempstead. Uh, the next related resolution is authorizing the transfer of monies received from the town of Hempstead to the CARES Act. Thank you. As the board members and anybody watching at home knows, uh, Senator Schumer was a tireless advocate uh, for the town of Hempstead uh, and in doing, doing so was able to secure $133 million in CARES funding. Uh, that funding is to be utilized for the health safety of the residents in the town uh, and we are doing so very diligently. Uh, but this is, is such an important um, step uh, that we are holding this emergency uh, meeting. Northwell Health is not only the leader in New York State, uh, they have been on the front line of the pandemic uh, since day one. Some of their hardest hit facilities were located not only in Brooklyn, but right here in the town of Hempstead, uh, over in the Valley Stream uh, facility. Uh, what we are doing here today is we are having a collaboration, and this collaboration will save lives. How is that so? This collaboration it will be awarding $2 million grant to Northwell where they will be creating over a dozen testing facilities throughout the town of Hempstead. And as anybody knows, and Councilwoman, Senior Councilwoman who's sitting near, near me knows, this pandemic has not hit uh, every community even handed. This pandemic has struck some communities much more severe than others. Uh, these facilities, as I said, will be throughout the town with a focus as well on the hardest hit areas. Uh, Northwell with Michael Dowling and his entire team uh, are amazing, they came in discuss with all the board members of how they're going to be located, who they're going to be working out from community leaders to civic groups. Uh, it will be in multiple languages and this is going to save lives. That's what it comes down to. Uh, all of my board uh, colleagues here as, as well as anybody at home, 
You see what's going around in this country, and we should be scared. Uh, we've seen the worst here in New York, and we don't want a second wave. We don't want a second, uh, you know, occurrence of what we experienced late March through April and the beginning of May. And teaming up with Northwell with these funds is exactly what should be happening. You know, we've utilized these funds not only to team up with Long Island Cares and Island Harvest to feed thousands of individuals and have home delivery. We've teamed up with all of our hospitals here with this funding to alleviate their burden with PPE. But I really feel that that uh, with the, the dialogue we had through with Michael Dowling and, and Northwell, this is a critical collaboration that is going to save lives. Uh, and with that, uh, does any member uh, of the board wish uh, to be heard on this item? Yes, Mr. Supervisor, if I might. First of all, I want to congratulate you on uh, this initiative that was spearheaded by you. I want to thank my colleagues for supporting this initiative. A number of years ago, we had a a hospital, a community hospital in Valley Stream, in North Valley Stream called Franklin General Hospital. Uh, Northwell, through negotiations uh, with my father, quite frankly, who was representing uh, the community, uh, they acquired Franklin General Hospital, is now known as uh, Long Island Jewish Valley Stream. I can't tell you by the continuation of health care in my district how many lives were saved. And now we are partnering with Northwell and Michael Dowling on this initiative to test people so that we can make sure that we can open our schools, that we can open our businesses, that we can open our communities, get people back to work, get people back to school, and make a safer environment for everybody. So uh, I want to thank Don for bringing this initiative forward. I think it's absolutely the right thing to do, and I'm proud to support it. Any other member wish to be heard on this item? I'm very happy. Oh, Councilman, hit your mic. I'm, always, I'm very happy that we have someone who's coming in that we can depend upon to go into our community, especially my community, which is the hardest hit one in the whole town of Hempstead. If I count it, I know there's over 5,000 residents who were hit. And it's very sad for me because I think of the ones who have lost their lives. Many lost their lives. People are all around me from my church, my neighbors and so forth. So hopefully that's going to save the lives of others. I was very fortunate in that when I um, contacted the virus, I was taken care of very well. And it, even though I had it, my daughter's got it, and my young lady who works with me all the time had it, so four of us. And only because I went to a birthday party that somebody asked me to come to, and someone else was supposed to come and didn't come because they got held up. So he was, uh, you know, he, he owes me for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I'm very grateful, and I'm sure that we're going to come up and really be able to save the lives of others. So that's what the CARES money is used, being used for, and I agree with this 100%. So thank you. Any other member of the board wish to be heard? Dennis Dunn? Yes. The, uh, I'm very glad we're doing this because we have, I, I'm sure most families have fear of the unknown. The unknown is if you have the virus or not. And people are afraid to take the test because they're afraid they're going to find out they have it. But if you don't find out you have it, you, you lose that early detection. Early detection usually saves lives of any kind of disease. So if you get the, the test, you'll find early detection if you do have it. And if the life you save may not be your own, it might be one of your family members or your neighbors or your friends. So, you know, we encourage everybody, and this is one way of encouraging people to get the testing by having it in the 13 different locations. And I'm really proud to join with you, uh, Supervisor, in, in, in supporting this legislation. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Any other board member wish to be heard? Uh, Supervisor, I just want to, uh, I, I think that we will all say that um, Senior Councilwoman Goosby is living proof that um, early testing, early detection, uh, and quality health care, without a doubt, saves lives. And I think we're, we're all blessed um, that uh, Senior Councilwoman is, has, has healed and is all better, and she's back here with us. But like I said, it, it is clear that uh, testing does save lives, and I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, the leadership here in the town of Hempstead is utilizing the federal CARES money uh, for the right reasons. And uh, we're making sure that uh, people throughout the township, the largest township in America, a diverse township, um, that whether it's in the five towns or Levittown 
or down on the Barrier Island or up north uh, in the town of Hempstead or anywhere um, in the middle, uh, there is opportunity for town of Hempstead residents to be tested uh, and to make sure that uh, we continue to, to uh, flatten the curve here uh, in New York and make sure that we don't see a spike in coronavirus. So um, job well done in utilizing, correctly utilizing the CARES funding uh, to make sure that we continue to keep people safe. Thank you. Any other council members wish to be heard? And I, I really think we really need to thank Senator Schumer because he was very much instrumental in making sure that we received this money. And I must thank our controller as well. He's very smart. He keeps up with everything that's going on. He happened to see that we had to have an application in for this, and he did it right away because it was a short time, but he did that. So we were able to get the amount of money that we got. So thank you. Um, I'd just like to say that uh, it's a show of support when the whole board shows up on short notice for such an important event. We are trying to get ahead of this. This is testing that we're taking to you as opposed to you coming to the different facilities. We want you to use it, use it to the potential of bringing Long Island, Town of Hempstead back to where it is, employees and all residents so that we can get back to a better normal way of life. Councilman Green. I just want to thank Don under his leadership, partnering with Northwell Health. This will greatly expand the testing in the town of Hempstead for our residents. Another example how to properly spend the CARES money. And thank you, Don. Thank you, Northwell Health. And this will go a long way to helping the residents here in the town of Hempstead. Well, I, I want to thank my colleagues uh, because you know what? I, you're been gr all of you are great. Our, our lines of communication are open. We share ideas, and one person does not govern alone. Uh, that is the benefit, I think, of the residents see firsthand that we are focused, unified, uh, all of us together on the betterment and safety. And, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm delighted and honored to work with all of you. And Councilwoman Goosby is definitely feeling better because she's definitely a little feistier uh, than, than perhaps she was for a little bit, and that's great. But uh, she's right. We want to again thank Senator Schumer, uh, our partner in Washington, D.C. Uh, we want to thank uh, Northwell and, and Michael Dowling and his team for this collaboration which we hope is the first of many collaborations for the benefit and the benefit and safety of the town residents. And I do also want to thank uh, publicly John Masterino, our, uh, our controller here in the town. Uh, John is very diligent uh, with the, the town's finances, uh, and he's a stickler, and, and he really did make a wonderful catch in recognizing, based on the town's population, we are eligible for this funding. Uh, so John, without you making this catch, uh, we wouldn't be where we are right now and be able to do these great things with Northwell and with Law Island Cares uh, and with Island Harvest and all the other ones. So, so uh, on behalf of everybody on this board, I know I speak with a very unified voice and we say we're lucky to have you here and thanks for, for being here uh, and doing the great job you do. Uh, as I previously stated, this is a special town board meeting and as the public was advised, comments were limited to the sole purpose of this special meeting and could be sent by email. We have indeed received email comments and I would ask the town clerk to now read those aloud uh, that were received on this item. Supervisor Claiborne, we have two uh, email responses from residents. Uh, one is from John Clark. To the supervisor, the people of Hempstead Town deserve quality health care in three basic forms, preventative to stay as healthy as possible, curative when stricken with illness, and palliative when all else fails to remain uh, pain-free through terminal illness. The CARES Act finding that Congress approved for America and is in rather generous proportions to our town can have positive effects on all three forms. If the board please appropriate a majority of the funds to the Northwell Health, health System and establish provider of quality health care to establish additional public health testing throughout our town. This request on behalf of all of our neighbors in the town is made by your constituent John Clark from Lonto, New York, who looks forward to the days that town hall reopens. Thank you, and Mr. our Clark. second and last uh, uh, email in response to the three resolutions is from a Mr. Felix Percacci uh, regarding case number 30283. Uh, he poses two questions. Uh, one, why is it necessary to have resolutions to transfer money when that money was provided by the federal government? And the second question is, who is responsible for ensuring that any CARES money transferred by the town of Northwell, uh, town to Northwell Health is spent properly by Northwell Health. John. 
uh, I'll ask our town controller to explain why it is we transferred and the safeguards he put into effect to actually make sure we are diligently watching these funds. You know, John, maybe maybe you could just use, utilize somebody. Bring him a mic. Yeah, here. Thank you, John. When we received the funds, uh, I I was of a mind, and and I did call the state controller. These were not our funds. We were custodian of the funds until a proper allocation of the disbursement of the funds. So we took a very conservative approach. We put it in a separate bank account a liability account, not our money. Uh, when the town board does disperse the money through a resolution, I, th at that point in time, that's the authority to draw down on the funds, put it into our operating account, and then disperse it. So uh, my feeling from the very beginning, these were not our funds. We weren't gonna play around with them and, and take any chance that they would get commingled. They're separate and any unused funds are mandated to be returned to the Treasury. So using that as, as a criteria, the only way I wanted to draw down on the funds is through an authorization by the town board. Thank you. And what was his other question? The second question was, who is responsible for ensuring that any CARES money transferred by the town to Northwell Health is spent properly by Northwell okay. Health? The, well, the, the grant to Northwell is a potential grant. They have to provide documentation, invoices, and a claim form to show that the money has been spent according to the criteria in the resolution. If that is not done, we can't disperse the funds. Thank you, John. Uh, and, and John, it's a, it's, a, it's a credit to you that you've put in such a procedure that is open, transparent, that residents get to see the actual expenditures of the CARES funds uh, at a calendar. Uh, I don't know if every other level of government is doing so. I know New York State is sitting on $5 billion of CARES funding. Uh, I don't know if they're being as open and transparent, but maybe that's a question that, uh, you know, our, our, whoever sent this letter in uh, might want to ask of New York State what they're doing. But at least we can say uh, we put in the safeguards, they put in the protocol to make it open, transparent, as well as going the extra uh, yard because we want it to be uh, that we hired an outside regulatory law firm to review any of these uh, expenditures before they're even allocated to make sure they fit within the qu criteria of the CARES funding. So thank you very much for that explanation. Just so everybody knows, John, uh, the controller said they did reach out to the state controller's office with this process and they, uh, they thought it was a fine process to, to implement. So thank you very much. Uh, Madam Clerk, can you call the, uh, the roll? Or may I move to adopt all the items on today's calendar? I apologize. Second. Okay. Supervisor Clavin? Aye. Councilman Blakeman? Aye. Councilman Carini? Aye. Councilman D'Esposito? Aye. Councilman Dunn? Aye. Senior Councilwoman Goosby? Aye. Councilman Muscarella? Aye. May I have a motion to adjourn? I'm so moved. Second. Council, uh, Supervisor Clavin? Aye. Councilman Blakeman? Aye. Councilman Carini? Aye. Councilman D'Esposito? Aye. Councilman Dunn? Aye. Senior Councilwoman Goosby? Aye. And Councilman Muscarella? Aye. Thank you to my town board colleagues. Thank you to Michael Dowling and the team for Northwell. And thank you for all the residents. Uh, you know what? Stay safe. And we will continue looking at and working hard for all of you. Stay, thank you and, all. Oh. And make sure that you go and get a test. And get a test. Absolutely. Watch out for sharks. Yeah, watch out for sharks. <laughs> Hold on.